In our video today, we are going to look at how to create a subclassification wise media type report that helps brands analyze the conversations that are generated from various media types for the subclassifications that have been created. For example, if you would like to keep a track of the volume of conversations that have been received for the classifications like cards and under cards, there are subclassifications like credit cards and debit cards. Based on these subclassifications, you can analyze the volume of conversations from a specific media type like Twitter public tweets or Instagram DMs. And in scenarios like these, this report can help you enhance your data analysis. To create this report, we need to visit the custom report section and proceed with clicking on create new report. Once you're on the main page, you need to add your display fields, which would include classifications. Once you've added classifications, you can go ahead and add media type. And once the media type has been added, you can add the mentions. So after you selected your display fields, you would now need to select your filter fields that will include parent classification that will help you with the main classification that has been created and also classification level. Once all the fields have been added, you can select the functions. For classifications, it would be group by. For media type, you would need to select group by once again. And for mentions, you'd need to select distinct count as you'd like to know the exact count of these conversations. Once the functions for your display fields have been selected, you can now select the functions for your filter fields. For parent classification, operator would equal to like, and you would need to select the main classification or the parent classification. And for classification level, it would be equal to, and the value equals to two, as two refers to the subclassifications. Once all of this have been added, you can now go ahead and add a name to your report select the topic or the profile, the date range for the specific period that you'd like to view the data for, and the platform. Once all of this has been selected, you can now go ahead and view the chart or view the report in the format of a chart. And the preferred section would be SAC column. And this is how your report would now load and you'll be able to view the analysis for your subclassifications and the conversations that have come in from different media types. Once all of this has been done, you can send this report to any of your dashboards that you've created.